what's up homies hello welcome back or yes. welcome <laughs> if you're new we are a gruesome <laughs> to some <laughs> ah okay. ah okay. today it's my turn to tell a story yes. um but before we get into that i gotta get into this bud Right? I gotta get into relax, chill, listen to mode. Get so, the story. Yeah, I. She's I been talking about it for weeks. I'm, let me tell you, you should see her notepad. She always it, filled up the entire oh, thing. Oh, <laughs> I just feel like I take a lot of notes in general. I was telling him that I was like one of those kids in school, and yeah. they would like highlight what you think is important, and I would highlight the entire page. <laughs> Today's bud that we're smoking on is of course you know one of our favorite companies simply herb holding it down per usual we are smoking on some jupiter jupiter is an indica yeah so we went back to the pure indicas this time again i don't we, we've never had jupiter i'm pretty sure this is our first time yeah so and i mean we just had to get away from the train wreck the train. We have that stream for like PTSD about the train. I right yeah, there. because I I yeah, okay. We're smoking on um this Jupiter and she comes in hot at total active cannabinoid twenty one I mean twenty nine point one percent. Heavy hitter. Oh yeah. And that's G A, where is it? It's a little less than one percent, but the C B D A is point one zero eight, so not bad. It's still, I'm, I'm chilling. I had a little bit we had a of little it, teaser. a little teaser, and then whatever else we had mixed in the bowl because I just needed yeah. something to calm my nerves before I, you know, <laughs> talk to you guys. And we have Jupiter rolled up in the King Palm oh. um, um, Mini. The Mango, what is it, Mango OG? Yep, Mango OG, the yeah. King Palm Mini. Um, I really like King Palms. I started smoking them in 2020 when um, someone I was friends with at the time had, I think they just came out then. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they had copped the original King Palms. And then I was like, oh my God, I like it. Because I, I don't like backwoods and fontos and tobacco yeah. and nicotine products when I really don't need We're lazy them. rollers. We don't want to waste time. And the <laughs> fact that you can pack, pack up those, this bitch yeah. and it's mango OG. And so... The flavor, it's like one of those, you know, Camel Crush cigarette situations where mm -hmm. you pinch and squeeze the top and this thing inside of it Pop. pops <laughs> and it like releases the flavor. Yeah. So, and if you don't know, now you know. All right, let's get into it. Get comfy, Ooh. grab some tea, water, snacks, Whistle. your weed, your bong, your lighter. Where's that? Anything you're rolling with. So today's story, it does have a trigger warning. It involves children and abuse. Uh -huh. So Simply Herb does Jupiter pretty well. We don't have a picture or a video yeah. because we got shake. But I can show you the shake <laughs> and what the shake looks like. Um, it smells so, so uh, good. Yeah. So good. So sweet. Mm -hmm. Pungent, mm -hmm. like vanilla aromatic -y. very very good i feel like it has like a classic sweet indica like smell. not saying that all indica smell the same but like yeah. sometimes like you get like you can tell yeah. you can tell like oh this mm -hmm. bitch is an indica for sure <laughs> it was like uh, very distinct as well yeah jupiter is a cross between chem 4 and goliath mm. And together they made Jupiter. <laughs> Send us off to Jupiter then. Get Let's more stupid. I'm gonna spark this. So this story centers on Jesse um, Eging. I want to say that that's how you pronounce his name. I'm I botched names. I'm so sorry. Um, but this story centers on Jesse Eging and the um, torture of him and his half siblings at the hands of Alice Jenkins. But this story begins with Mary Rolls, 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 Rolls? Mary Rolls, okay. and she started having kids at the age of 15, 
and she would have six kids by the time she was 21. They were all fathered by different men. Yeah, she <laughs> she was Damn. busy. Oh, she got around, okay. <laughs> Close up. Not bad. No. It's not like too strong. Like those ones you have to click, the taste is like overpowering. Yeah. Like this one is actually not bad. So Jesse can recall life with Mary to be seemingly normal, um, as normal as it can be for, you know, uh, being a son of a mom who's 21 with six children. <laughs> he does recount it being somewhat normal, having an okay kind of a life um, in the beginning with Mary. But there were signs though, like one day, Jesse can recall sitting at the dinner table with his mom and he remembers that they were eating spaghetti mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. was slurping his spaghetti <laughs> loudly because he saw that his mom, Mary, was kind of doing the same thing. So he thought it was okay. So he started slurping it really loudly and she snapped and stabbed him in the arm with a fork. Wait, with the fork she was eating with? Whatever fork it was, she just grabbed a fork Damn. and stabbed him, and he was with the spaghetti fork. Very, oh very, God. very young at this Wait, how point. How old was he? Very young. Oh, I, 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 he didn't, he didn't say how old he was. All right, that's. But sad. he was super young, and he even had a scar on his arm from mm -hmm. it as an adult, and he tattooed the scar. I forgive you. Oh jeez. It's very, very sad. That's heavy stuff. Okay. So that was kind of like the first like real traumatized what the heck moment, moment that he had with his mom. So life is going on and she, one night Mary goes out um, to a gay bar in Akron, Ohio because they, they live in Ohio. Mm. Gay bar, okay. Where she meets Alice Jenkins. She a lesbian? Uh Oh, not to, I guess should, at this I point. Say, no, no, I well. So she had. She, I don't know. She could be bi. Who knows? But she had six children prior to meeting Alice at the gay bar, and I guess they like hit it off and kind of start dating. Okay. And Jesse recalls um, one day his mom just sent her three older the three oldest siblings who are Marissa, Danny, and Daryl, to go live with their biological dads. And- she sent them away? Sent them to go Shit. live, the older three, you're gonna go live with your dad. And she kept what? The and she kept the younger three, which <coughs> wow. were Tyler, Jesse, and Caleb. Caleb was the youngest, the newest baby. What the fuck? So Jesse recalls that one day, his older siblings are gone with their dads and now they're moving in to Alice's house. Like things are just going kind of fast and it's fast forward. Oh my God. He's moving into this super like random lady's house. Is she nice to them or? So, Jesse recalls that as they moved in, you know, sh shortly after they moved in. <laughs> that blunt is hitting right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> shortly after they moved in, he can recall it being somewhat normal mm -hmm. but then it it would change very quickly because caleb the youngest he, more of like a baby and yeah. we'll say under a year okay. or so Young enough yeah it'll be basically a newborn at that right point. basically mm -hmm. like she need, need needed to pay attention to him all yeah. the time yeah so alice doesn't like how much she's spending time with her children how dare she oh my god spend so much time and she started getting jealous oh, of mary's kids mm -hmm. good situation right there red flag that's mm -hmm. toxic yeah red flag for sure toxic femininity <laughs> i don't know what that would be but that's like that is toxic. that's a red flag if someone like if you're like a parent like a single parent, you get into a relationship with someone and they're jealous of your kid. Like, I, that is such a red flag. Yeah. Jesse recalls that um, one day things just started to change. Alice took him and his sibling, Tyler, um, up to their bedroom and she started tying them down to the bed Wait, what? By, their, by their ankles and their feet. Jeez. But she didn't ever 
really so Jesse describes Alice as a very cold stern no emotion direct woman like very just just man. Yeah. Like no evil. like a statue yeah like a statue okay. right and she barely said anything to the kids ever at all all right that's kind of like the mom at that point should have stepped in and been, been like you you have to notice something like that come on that's crazy so alice started tying jesse and tyler to the bed every morning before she went to work and it wasn't like a forceful thing you know the kids were at still like were very young at this point and they were so young that they really didn't know like mm that that wasn't normal behavior for an adult yeah, yeah. so they were like okay <laughs> so she ties them to the bed by the ankles and the feet so much that they can barely really move around now i know why she got rid of the older one <laughs> no the mom did that prior the mom yeah, but now married there's, now there's no one there to like protect them or, or and... this goes on for a while <laughs> Those poor boys, they figured out <clears throat> after a little while mm. how to loosen themselves and get themselves out of <laughs> the things. Little Houdini. Yeah, and they would go back downstairs with to be with their mom and yeah. What, yeah. what, what, what did the mom say? Like? Well, the mom, while this was going on, during this time, she Mary was diagnosed with MS. Oh. multiple sclerosis Jeez. that's what it's called yeah. um I f that attacks like the muscles and stuff right yeah so she gets diagnosed with ms and in the same breath started abusing drugs oh <clears throat> probably God. because of the ms maybe yeah. she was abusing what they were giving her for the pain yeah. the shit, um, basically yeah yeah she was so out. pretty much that's tough the boys would go sneak down, you know, <laughs> untie themselves. They would go downstairs and Alice would come home and see this, but she would never punish them. Mm -hmm. So to them, it kind of seemed like a game. Right? See how long it takes for them to escape. <laughs> so, she, But this frustrated Alice. She was like, oh, fuck. She decided to up the ante. Crazy, okay. And then unfortunately decided to separate the boys in two different rooms because before they were both in the same room, just tied to different beds. Now, unfortunately, Alice decides to up the torture, separate the boys into different rooms. And when she did that, the rooms were kind of like opposite each other. So she took and tied each doorknob to oh, each other, shit. essentially trapping the boys inside of the room from eight o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the evening the when she got out of work Jeez. and when she got out of work she kind of would let them go downstairs so she would let them out from work like she would let them out or something yes. like, geez, so she is then treating these kids like, like just like farm animals or something it's so fucking sad because when you watch the um episode and i'll I, i'll put, i'll pin it in the comments Oh my God. <clears throat> it's it pisses you off just I'm everything i'm gonna piss off right now just listen to the story alice she ties the two doors together basically trapping the boys inside mm -hmm. from eight o'clock in the morning till she got home from work where she would let them out and come eat with the family okay. downstairs but then as soon as the boys were done back up to the room they went oh my god and the and whole time jesse said his mother never even came upstairs to fucking check on them to see if they were okay where's my children yeah, nothing not a fucking peep from mary that's insane i blame the mom i don't like that's ridiculous this goes on for a very long time that the boys were trapped in the rooms um and she stopped letting them out to use the bathroom so they started to have to use the bathroom in the corners of the room were they able to like play in their rooms in they the had room? nothing they had absolutely nothing oh, no God. toys no nothing no games no That's absolutely horrible. nothing and she started basically starving them what the fuck? reducing their you know meals to a, a peanut butter sandwich mm -hmm. where before she would let them out you know and like eat and stuff, yeah. yeah now it's nothing 
pretty much. Just a peanut old, butter sandwich. How old are the kids? Episode? They're 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 not even five. Oh my god! Like not even five or that's so. Fucking, yeah. That's. So this it's, goes on for horrible. a very long know. time. This life, it's be it became normal for them to be locked upstairs every day, mm -hmm. away from their mother, away from the world, away from everything by themselves day in and day out. They lost track of time. Just that so matters. fucking sad. Yeah. At that age, that's... So their older siblings, though, would come visit sometimes. And Alice would be like, oh, fuck, the older siblings are coming. I should let them out of the rooms and we're going to act like everything is normal. <laughs> that went on for a while, too. <clears throat> I'm good at, like, faking the fun. Oh, yeah. Much. Alice was, like, around. just putting on a show. <laughs> so she would let them out and just, when the older kids would get there, to just make it seem mm. like everything was normal, but mm. it really wasn't because they were living in these fucked up, horrible circumstances. At the hands of Alice. Yeah. So some time goes on, and it's like that for a good while, unfortunately, for the boys, until one day they have to go to school. Which was very hard for Jesse and Tyler because yeah, they're not potty trained. Oh, they don't know how to read. They don't know how to write. They barely ever go outside to the outside world, so it was very overwhelming when they yeah. were like, what the fuck, school? For the first time in their lives, you know? And one of the oldest siblings, Marissa, was there to bring them to school on the first day, and Jesse can recall Alice just staring at, staring at them, just mm -hmm. with the most evil look on her face. So, upon going to school, it, it was very difficult for Jesse and Tyler because they, they've never been around honestly other any other people yeah. any nothing they weren't even potty trained you know what i mean they were severely malnourished and jesse can recall that no teachers ever raised concern i was gonna say teachers had never to even noticed. raised concern how were they going to the bathroom where were they going to, to the bathroom <laughs> so That's after just one week of school nobody stepped up for this they were yanked out of school just Alice and Mary just pulled them out of school. That's it. No more school. And just says that um, CPS never intervened or anything. Her. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. So. How could you get away with with like something like that for so long? It's so not yeah. human. She's just not a human. Alice that's just isn't a fucking pure human. Pure evil. Honestly, that's terrible. <laughs> I hope Conrad gets her ass eventually. So. Jesse and Tyler are not going to school at this point and they're locked in the rooms from Back like sun up room. till whenever, barely being fed, not let out to use the bathroom, completely isolated. Mm -hmm. And you know, they really didn't understand like why they weren't going to school anymore until one day Jesse remembers that he saw some of the neighborhood kids and kids that they did go to school with that one time. Out, time. outside <laughs> of, the, of the window it's not funny yeah, but yeah. it's no. it's horrible it's just it's ugh. and so they see these kids outside and they yell out to them and the kids yell back hey come play come outside what are you doing come outside and they yell back we can't we're not allowed mm -hmm. and alice sees them talking to each other through the and sh that she was it for her. her that was it was downhill from there because that was it from her and fires on the window now <laughs> So, <laughs> what she does next is the most horrific part, oh but my God. On, I, gotta, I gotta say it. She wants to really punish the boys <laughs> now, and she decides to lock both Jesse and Tyler in a closet in their bedroom, and this would become their home for the next few years. What the fuck? They were padlocked in the closet, and it was just a basic small little three oh by five closet. No window, no light, just a rug. Oh my God. Padlock and she sometimes would even push a large dresser in front of the door and she kept them up there um, all day. So did this lady Alice go, like what did she do for work? We don't know, we don't care what she did for work. We don't know and we don't care. But oh, the man. boys um, were never really saw daylight after that unfortunately she would let them out though um only once every couple days 
to split a peanut butter sandwich between the both of the boys. Oh, great. Nice. How nice of her. How can such like an evil person just like go on with their lives and, and just like 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 kids locked up like that? That that's that blows my mind. Uh, I mean <laughs> Uh, I don't know. And this went on for that was that was their life for a while. And Jesse says that he lost track of how old he was, how the months, the days, the years, the time, it just it all blended together. He him and his brother Tyler was just them two in the closet. The same closet? The same closet from sun up to sundown every single day, day well, at least in, they had day each out. Other. I mean, at the very least. And they had nowhere to go to the bathroom except for in the closet. Oh, man. And it was fuck? so sad. One day, Alice it's opens disturbing. opens up the closet and yanks the boys out and brings them downstairs and takes a trash bag full of toys, that which they've never seen before, and dumps it on the floor and she's like, play. The boys don't know how to play. They don't know what toys are. Yeah. They don't know how to play. Yeah. They're, They're like, looking the at hell? each other like, what the fuck <laughs> like, is this? what are we supposed to do with these? Yeah. And they just are picking them up and looking at the toys Probably and kind of was, looking was at to each other. And then knock, knock, knock. Yeah, of course. It's CPS. Finally, oh my God, it's a fucking Hail Mary. Oh my God. But how did you catch it when the CPS was on the way? She's even down the street? Like, I don't get it. We don't know how. It, Damn. It's. Yeah. I mean, do they have to call or something? So, wow. in the episode, That's I feel so like bad. maybe one of the siblings, Stepped because up at, at the time, you know, time is going on and the abuse is getting worse and the boys are so frail and malnourished and they look like, unfortunately, I have, they look like shit and yeah. they smell because they're laying in their, um, you know what I mean? They're yeah. just forced to live in their, where they oh, shit and, and piss and... So one of the older siblings had like mentioned it to the dad, one of their dads. Mm -hmm. And I, and that's when the dad was like, Hmm, maybe I should look into this. And, and, and the kind of like, that's where that came from. I didn't know from. the dads were even still in the picture. Yep. Wow. Well, they're still in contact with Mary because the three older siblings live with the dads and they only come over on the weekends. Yeah. You know, Dads are the two kids in, that are, are locked up. Like, are they those They're guys? not in the picture. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Jesse recalls, you know, Mary and Alice talking and laughing and, and you know, just everything's fine with oh, CPS. Oh, Mary can, knows what's happy. going on. We're okay. happy and we have a happy life and we have two wow. cute kids. Jesse says that CPS never did a walk around. They never went upstairs. They never even talked to the boys. Oh they were just like, okay, everything seems... Good here. Oh, good here. Like, and then they fucking dipped. They wow. were just like, all right. And then dipped. Yeah. Alice, she snatched up those toys, put them all in the bag, and, and up back into the closet that Jesse and Tyler went for a very long time. Wow. And, and no one, they never did like another check in, random checks, nothing like that. Nope. All good after that, apparently wow. from CPS. What the fuck? The system is just failing. These, these kids. The like, system, real. it doesn't matter. On. The system isn't designed or set up for people to win or get ahead or achieve. So, some time goes on, unfortunately, and this is the life of Jesse and Tyler. And Alice started basically reducing their food intake, only feeding them once a month. Once a month? She would oh only my. feed them once a month. So the boys being so hungry, and when she would feed them, it would only be the half peanut butter sandwich, and they would go hungry and eat it so fast that they would make themselves sick, and then they would eat it again. Oh, God, don't say that. And then Horrific. back in the closet that they went in, oh. Jesse said, so his his half sibling Tyler, who oh, uh, who he was locked in the closet with, too, had a different dad, and his skin was darker. And Alice beat him it was so bad, like it's so because, wait, like because his... just because like he they both got tortured as fuck. But, he but just certain things she would do worse to him, and so sad, so fucking mm. sad. Just that that they're they're reduced down to 
just those once, once a, month a month in the closet interactions with just Alice, the fucking cold hearted they statue. Get to see them. They're Mary, ne Mother Mary, never came, never just, never even, where's my kids? How are they doing? Nothing, nothing. Radio silent from Mary. That's unbelievable. So something happens and time goes on. Unfortunately, it's like this. Something happens where now Mary has custody of all six of the kids. So the older ones now come to live with oh, them. Shit. And Alice still kept the fucking kids locked up. She still, she just had it like she, the older kids too. The but older really kids not didn't amazing. realize? No, they realized, but they at this what? point really couldn't do like 16 and under maybe i don't know maybe That's because it said that to... one of the boys who was 14 years old only weighed 76 pounds so when he, when he was malnourished like, so yeah i mean the kids all like the older kids could kind of come out and like live a somewhat ish normal life but then the three younger ones would be the brunt of alice's oh abuse God. all just gang up on her Marissa, <laughs> one of the oldest siblings, Marissa, she felt obviously so fucking bad for her younger siblings and she would kind of st step up and be the one to sneak them out of the room to go get food, sneak them out of the room to use the bathroom, sneak them out of the room just to fucking let them out and just to see her siblings, her brothers, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. One day Marissa took them out of the closet, she snuck them out because Mary and Alice went out, so she snuck them out brought them downstairs and Jesse said that he has never in his life just seen so much food. The, the fridge, mm. the cabinets, everything was stocked full. And they didn't fucking... And, and these poor boys only eat half a peanut butter sandwich <sighs> once a month, maybe, if Alice so fucking decides to So it's not like they don't have them. the food, they just don't want to no. feed them? What kind of shit is that? I mean... <laughs> Disgusting. Human waste is what they are. Yeah. Not even. No. Marissa let them grab raid the fucking fridge she let them raid the cabinets fuck yeah bro take, take all everything you fucking yeah. need like Hell she yeah, was trying sure. to help them you know as did, as much as she as much as she could help them did and, they like drink water at least like i that. i don't even know i i alice notices that there was that there's food missing sometimes right so naturally she blamed it on the boys of but course. this was bad so one day she takes them out of the closet and they were so starving, hungry, and they mm. thought that they were gonna be fed. She did feed them, but oh. what she decided to feed them as a punishment no. was dog feces. No. And forced them to eat it. Oh my God. Someone should fucking do that to her. I told you guys, this one was a doozy. I told yeah, you, it's, you like, it's, you oh, it didn't, fucking infuriates you so much because these little boys did nothing <laughs> nothing to deserve this i wasn't ready for all this you didn't say it was again time is going on and the days become months become years that they're just in the closet they yeah. don't come out like that's their life that's their life with a pillow and maybe a blanket one so marissa continuing to try to help the boys let them out to use the bathroom you know whatever one night, Marissa convinces the Jesse, Tyler, and Caleb, you guys just have to get the fuck out of here. Just escape. Like, if that, that's the plan, you guys just have to go. You have to escape. And she was so brave that she convinced, you know, she to, like, come up with that plan that, well, if we all can't go, then the youngest three, at least, yeah, they have to go because they're getting, like, the brunt of Alice's abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Anything is better than where they were. Exactly. You know? That's just what Marissa did. Yeah. She convinced the three youngest, Jesse, Tyler, and Caleb, hey, sneak out of the window. We'll help you guys just yeah. get the fuck outside. All three boys shimmy down the side of the house and they go outside. Mm. And Jesse describes this as being extremely overwhelming because he he hasn't really known out the outside world. Yeah. So like, where do I go? Like, what do I do now? You know? So the three boys... They were barely clothed. They were severely malnourished. They didn't even really have a plan. They just wanted to get the fuck out, but they didn't really know what else to do at this point. Yeah. So they're wandering the neighborhood, and this was like in the middle of the night. They're just wandering and trying to come up with what next, what to do next. Too. Yeah. Oh my God. They see a garden hose. 
and they oh. decide to go and drink water from it because they're thirsty. Naturally. And this woman notices mm. these like three random kids in the middle of the night drinking out of water for her hose. Mm. So she calls the police and, and the cops show up. The boys just, they weren't trusting of the cops at yeah, first at no, all. And they probably had no idea. They like, had, they really had. As fuck. If, if you don't know it, like, yeah. just these people are poetry, they uniformed. Like, and the lights and sat, the like, lights, yeah, they sirens, had no idea. So like, oh, God, yeah. so naturally they didn't trust the cops no. at first. The cops, seeing the state that the boys were in, they knew, like, something, something ain't up. right, you yeah. know? Yeah. They told the boys, hey, if we buy you guys food, mm. will you talk to us? And so they said, yes. They agree. Yeah, so the cops get them like big sub sandwiches and Gatorades. Ooh, That's what ooh. Jesse said. That's what I would Big remember. sub sandwiches <laughs> and Gatorades. Oh yeah. And the cops noticed how animalistic the boys were when they were eating, how they ate so ravenously mm. and just not human like that they knew something ain't fucking right. Wow. Something ain't no kid eats like that. Not only that, they are severely malnourished. They're they just don't look right. So the cops were like, yo, deal's a deal. And the the, the boys, they Started just start talking. opening up about their circumstances. When the cops were like, well, what are you doing out here? What happened? And we're, you know, and they yeah. told them, live in a closet. And we escaped. And they were like, what? Did you? And they got all the information that they could out of the boys. So the cops didn't really say much in return, but they made a radio call. Jesse recalls pull, like pulling up to oh, the house, the house oh. and they started freaking out. All three kids were hysterically crying, screaming, oh. freaking out. Just absolutely, you, we can't go back. Just they had a meltdown. Mm. But the call that the cops made was for backup because they fucking went and arrested Mm. Mary and Alice on the fucking spot, no questions asked, and the three Good boys, shit. Jesse, Good Caleb, shit. and Tyler, sat in the back and watched Ooh. Alice and their Both mother get, taken out. get taken out in handcuffs, and that would be the last time that they would ever see their mother. Well, they barely seen her anyways. <laughs> well, yeah, well. Really make a difference, but, but like, that would be the last no, time. No, what do you mean that was the first time they seen her? Right. Mother. That was the last time they would ever That's really crazy. actually see their mother. Wow. So, Jesse, Tyler, and Caleb were um, taken out of the house and everything after Mary and Alice were arrested. Yeah. The kids, they had to be hospitalized um, oh, for severe malnourishment yeah. and... Jesse actually ended up having to stay for six weeks. Damn. And Mary and Alice would plead guilty to multiple charges of abuse. Mm -hmm. And they were sentenced 30 years. Be released in 2033. But it doesn't matter how old they'll be because they shouldn't even be released yeah, they should have anyway life. they should have gotten life but I'm, I'm saying will they even make the 30 years they're or? they're actually i they're probably going to be very elderly when they get mm. out maybe somebody should kill them in prison you can't say stuff like that on youtube oh yet. shit <laughs> so jesse now like as an adult he buys it he has so mm. much fucking ptsd mm. I can imagine. from like, this I entire ordeal and he has, he struggles with things in his adult life, like light sensitivity mm -hmm. and time management. Because when you're locked mm -hmm. in a closet for your child, basically his entire childhood almost, mm -hmm. he was never exposed to like sunlight and, and obviously time. And, yeah. and so those are things that a, he struggles with in his adult like life. Mm -hmm. And he had so many questions one day where he did he did reach out to Mary, his mom, and um, Alice to try to get some answers, some closure, like, what the fuck? Like, and why? He, why? Why did you do that to me and my siblings, Alice? Why? And her, base, her response was, I feel as if I did nothing wrong. I was only doing what your mother should have been doing. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Yeah. You can't let someone like that out of prison. No. You know what? Like she like even, complete like no she's remorse. there's no, like, nothing that's pure nothing evil. you know what wow. put her down she yeah. can be put down that's a human no. that can be put down yeah, and we won't 100%. like wow no. that's so Mary her response 
Where were you during all this abuse, yeah, Mom? What the fuck? Says- well, I was strung out on morphine. What do you expect? No, that's not an excuse at all. Sorry. Not at all, because no. there's a lot of parents who no. do no. struggle with addiction that are still trying to wake Absolutely. up every day and be parents. Yeah. Like, that is no fucking excuse. No responsibility. That's she just had no complete neglect and yeah. denial. You know? So, that's all that is. Unfortunately, wow. peeps, I'm so sorry, but that was the case of Mary Rolls mm. and Alice Jenkins. I thought my story was disturbing. You all did me. For sure. <laughs> what the hell? Come on. Are we are we low key in a competition? Uh, now we I are. Think, <laughs> I think we might be. Now we are. I think we're in a competition. All right. <laughs> I haven't decided on my next one yet, so. But we'll see. That is the story of Jesse Eging and the torture of his siblings. Oh, um, he is still in contact though with all of his siblings, and they That's try good. to live like a somewhat normal life. The Unfortunately, some time after Marissa, the one that helped them out, she was in a fatal car crash. Oh, no. But Jesse says she had a daughter and he tries to be, like, involved with, oh, that's you know. And they all try to, like, they stay in contact yeah. and everything. I'm sorry, that was a doozy. That was bad. <laughs> what did you think of the weed? I like the weed. That shit got me. I'm know. pretty lit from it, but I'm, yes. I'm like, relaxed. Yeah, for sure. I was in complete chill mode. I was on the edge of my seat listening to you. <laughs> edge of my seat. <laughs> that was insane. Whew, that was heavy. I and feel so heavy. I need to smoke again after listening yeah, to that. Um, they got my nerves going right now. Well, thanks for coming to another ses- the session story, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, mm. do all that Comment, good stuff. All that and please don't forget to submit your spooky stoner stories that we want to read to y'all on Sundays. If anything true crime, paranormal, or just downright weird happened to you and your homies or whoever while y'all were rolling up a session, mm-hmm. please tell us. Please write it in please to the don't. email <laughs> in the description and we will read it and shout you we'll out. We'll do it justice for sure. Please don't forget, I want to know what happened. I know you have a st- I know there's stories. I know you have stories. You and I know you want to tell it. I know you want to tell it. And we're here for it. Bye. Thank you and bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>